So now we get to celebrate. Uh, There are some almost 70 people who've communicated that they want to be baptized in this service, a little over 100 between the two services. And so I'm going to show you the names of those uh, who will be baptized in the service, and those of you who are preparing to be baptized, you can make your way uh, toward the front over here. And we're just going to celebrate all these different names because every single name has a story, and every single one of these stories matters to God. Now again, there's all, all, almost about 70 people that we know we're going to take this step today. But here's what we also knew. That there would be others who would come in today and, and maybe today would become that defining moment. Maybe for some of us, for the very first time, we took a step to follow Jesus today. Maybe for others of us, we've taken a step to follow Jesus. We've just never publicly declared that through baptism. But what if? What if even though you didn't come here today thinking you would get baptized, that might be exactly what God is asking you to do? Now, we know you didn't prepare for that. Like, Sean, I got no change of clothes. No worries. We got a change of clothes for you. Or maybe you say, I didn't bring a towel. No worries. We got towels for you. We know you didn't come prepared to be baptized today, so we've done all the preparation for you. Uh, If you have other questions about what this looks like, if you want to process it with somebody, I would just encourage you, we've got a team down front, just a a team of response pastors that would love to talk with you, love to answer any questions you have, but even more important, we'd love to walk alongside and celebrate the life changers experiencing the moment. And so as we watch these 70 people who are making this decision today, as you celebrate it, pay attention to your heart. If you sense God moving in you, if you sense God like doing something in your heart, you go, I don't know. I think he's asking that maybe today is my day. Get up from your chair, no matter what level you're on. Make your way down here. Make your way to the team. We would love the opportunity to serve you in this moment. But how about let's direct our attention to the baptisms that are happening. Here's what we believe when people are baptized. We think there's a party in heaven. We think heaven's celebrating and rejoicing. And if that party's happening in heaven, we have a responsibility to mirror that on earth, right? So every time you see somebody coming up out of the water, We scream, we cheer, we shout, we blow a blowhorn if we have that. Let's celebrate life change together.
right, Willow, we're just getting started. So congrats to those who've already been baptized. It's exciting. Also want to welcome the members of our Casa de Luz community have joined us. Great to have you as well. Walked over from the chapel. Uh, we have about seven members of our Casa community getting baptized as well. And so if you're sitting there and you're kind of processing, I don't know, there's just something stirring in me. This might be a moment that I make this decision. I want to encourage you. There's never been a better time than right now. You know, sometimes we think to ourselves, you know, it sounds like a good idea. I'm going to do that someday. Like someday I'm going to get my life together. Someday I'm going to turn myself over to God. You know, someday I'm going to become a follower of Him. But here's what's fascinating. If you pour through the pages of Scripture as it relates to what God is asking us to do, do you know how many times you'll see the word someday? Never. Because when God's talking to us, it's not about someday, it's always about today. Like today is the day the Lord has made. Today is the day that we give our life to Him. Today is the day that we follow Him. Today is the day that we profess our faith and our commitment to Him. So if you're sitting in that seat and you're feeling compelled that maybe God has something for you, don't wait another moment. Today is your day. Again, our team is ready for you. You can head down there. Let's continue to celebrate.
How you feeling? Good? So we're about halfway there, which is exciting. We got a lot more life change to celebrate today. I want to introduce you to a really good friend of mine. This is Pastor Fabian Garza. He helps pastor the Casa de Luz community. Woo. And so as we start thinking about really what it looks like for people to respond, we don't want people to respond just in English. I think we need people to respond in Spanish, Pastor. Hola, Willo. Thank you so much for receiving us as we are one family, right? So, please forgive me. I need to say this in, my, in the language of my heart. Si tú estás aquí el día de hoy, no dejes que el idioma sea una barrera. Si Dios te está hablando ahí donde estás y el Señor es tu Señor Jesús en tu corazón, ven. Te invitamos a que pases aquí al frente con nosotros. Toma esta decisión, este paso de obediencia de parte de Dios para ti y celebra con nosotros que Jesús está en tu corazón. Así que no importa dónde estés en el, en el auditorio, baja con nosotros. Acá nosotros te vamos a apoyar con ropa, ¿verdad? Con la toalla. Ven y celebra que Cristo está vivo. ¡Cristo está vivo!
What a morning, huh? So fun to celebrate all together. It's fun to see everybody wrapped in a white towel all over the room, grateful for every single one of you. And the story that God is writing in your journey as a church, we couldn't be more excited for you. We couldn't be more proud of you. Uh, we're really, really grateful. Can I just say welcome to the family? Uh, great to have you a part of the family. Now, if you were sitting there the whole service, you're like, man, I really, I missed my chance. Now, there's not an opportunity. Just so you know, I don't have lunch reservations. We can be here as long as you need. So if there are other people that want to do, even after we dismiss today, we're happy to serve you in any way we can. But to close our experience today, can you join me with just with a word of prayer? Uh, Father, I'm so excited and so grateful for every single life that's here, all that you're doing in our journey. But God, we recognize that every single name, there's a story that you're writing and every single one of these stories really matters deeply to you. So Father, it's a church. We come alongside, we support, we love, we create a sense of belonging. God, together, would you help knit us together as one strong, dynamic, courageous family. May this moment be a defining moment, a spiritual marker. We draw a line in the sand, we put a stake in the ground, really what it looks like to declare our allegiance to you. And God, from this point forward, would you give us the courage, the tenacity, to do whatever it takes to follow hard after you. God, we love you. We say thanks. We pray that in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, church, if you've been wondering at all, like, is God still at work in and through Willow Creek Community Church? I hope that you have a resounding yes, that God is actively at work, and we're excited to be a part of what he's doing. Thanks so much for being here this weekend. We love you all. We look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great week.